When we talk about rice farming, Trinidad and Tobago is probably not the first country that would come to mind. But right here in Maruga, there exists a special grain of dry land, wild rice that people all around the world are willing to pay top dollar for. And guess what? It's the only one of its kind that grows in the Western Hemisphere. So today, we're going to learn about the sustainability concept that underpins its production and we might just get a bubble a pot and sample it for ourselves. Trinidad is a real place is brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited at the forefront of energy. Trinbagonians can find the joke even in a serious situation. Our sense of humor is second to none. But for every story that may seem unreal, there is another of people who make TNT a better nation. Because we are real people, our dreams are real, and Trinidad is a real place. My name is Captain Mark Forgeny. I'm a Merchant Navy Deck Officer, but I'm also the owner of the Vista Dorado Estates, where we produce the Maruga Hill Rice. I got involved with the Maruga Hill Rice when my dad had his stroke and was sick. And I came down to Maruga to look for some, and they told me everybody had stopped farming it because it was too labor intensive. Eventually, I got a little bit, two pounds, and took it up. The neurosurgeons, um, medical team, they made it into a porridge and I fed my dad, my, that to my dad every day until he really did get better oxygen um, uptake in his blood. The oxygen level went back up and his brain capacity was restored. It was actually healing thanks to the rice. So I started to dig and look for ideas. How do I make the production side more efficient, less costly, and more programmable and repeatable so that year on year you could repeat this production sustainably, safely, in order to actually create a predictable business. And that's how I got into the Maruga Hill Rice. I think this is my first time actually taking in a rice plant. I would have just assumed that this was bush. Yes, so, it, it actually just looks like grass, but... Um, that is fascinating. Yes. So if you look, especially here, you can see it. It's in belly here, as they would say, and then it would grow upwards, and then it will so, fall over like that. When you say in belly, is it that the actual grains, each individual grain it's of rice, in there, they're yeah. packed in there? Yes. And you kind of have to... I it guess when you harvest. Out. Yeah, it will grow out and it will fall over like that and then when you harvest. I do this because it's, it has been a passion of mine for a number of years. Um, I was discouraged initially because um, it's, it's a field where women are not usually involved in. I like a challenge and I, I took the challenge. So my vision for, for this entire thing is really to show other women that it is possible, you can do it. It's not a field that is far away from you. You can do it, although it may seem like a, a paramount task, uh, as well as bringing some positivity and light back to Maruga and encouraging the youths to show them that they can get involved in farming. So I do get a sense of fulfillment with what I do here because it's what I, I wanted to do all along and I'm seeing part of my dream coming alive. So, Zico, this is the raw paddy. This is the black hen variety of the Maruga Hill rice. Right? As it comes from the field, it's dried in our dryer for about three hours after coming from our harvester and then from the dryer, it's conveyed into the silo where it's stored in this sadi, paddy silo. It's stored in one of these two silos until we're ready to pull it into the mill. Then it's milled, comes out through the mill and the hull is separated from the whole grain and the whole grain then comes out. And this bag here mm -hmm. is what the whole grain looks like. Wow. And so what happens next um, after this? So then 
we cook the rice. This is my grandmother's recipe. Some jira hill rice, maruga Ooh. hill rice. You can smell the jira from here, like, yep. okay. All the flavor, and you see it's soft already. We also have a scorpion pepper variety, a pimento variety. So you could do scorpion pepper maybe with lamb. You could do the jira with a nice fish. You could do the pimento with a nice steak. Yeah, so you have a variety of ways. You could do the traditional way with a nice curry. So is this yeah. ready to serve out now? This is, in fact, ready to serve out fresh out the pot. This is lovely. And again, you get all the flavor really in, in the rice. Distinct texture. Yes, the nuttiness is mm -hmm. there, right? Yes, it's a, like a sort of a nutty graininess yes. that you wouldn't get with like regular white rice. But let me tell you, this is absolutely delicious. All the flavor is locked wow. in. That is what is unique mm -hmm. about the Maruga Hill rice. And with all the vitamin C, the mm -hmm. iron, the fiber, it's mm -hmm. good for you. You can taste that. You can it taste that. It is good yeah. for you. But beyond the jira, you can really see that there's something yep. special, like just unique about, <laughs> about this rice. Mm. Enjoying it, Zico? <laughs> Your mouth full. That's important. That's what's important. That's the real test. The acid test, a happy customer. Trinidad is a Real Place was brought to you by the National Gas Company of Trinidad and Tobago Limited at the forefront of energy.